Today I'm going to show you the five big mistakes women make when applying makeup to mature eyes. Hi, I'm Shelley and this is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel that explores fashion, beauty and lifestyle for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they'll all relate to you. I'm going to show you the five big makeup mistakes that we can all make on this side. And then I'm going to show you how to apply your eye makeup with some technique so that you look younger, fresher and more vibrant. Okay, let's get started. The first big mistake women make when applying makeup to mature eyes is not to prime. The reason we prime our eyelids is because our eyelids are very oily and particularly as we're getting older, they become more oily. So if you apply eyeshadow to your eyelid without a primer, by the end of the day or even after a couple of hours, you're going to get creasing in your eyeshadow. And you don't want that because it looks really cakey. So to use a primer is the best thing that you can do. So I'm going to start applying my eye makeup to show you what not to do on this side and what to do on this side. I love the Too Faced Insurance Eye Primer. You only need a really tiny bit and you tap it into your eye just really gently and you don't need too much of this because you want it to be a smooth film rather than a thick coating. And this is just a really small thing to do but it makes your eyeshadow last so much longer so what it does is it makes your eyeshadow pop more the color becomes more intense and it stops the creasing so prime is the first thing and I think everybody over the age of 50 should be using a primer for their eyeshadow okay the second big mistake we make with our mature eyes is to go against basic color theory so what I mean by that is we apply dark in the wrong places and light in the wrong places so I'm going to show you what the mistakes are and I'm going to show you how to fix them the basic color theory tells us that dark colors recede and light colors make bigger so we wear black and dark colors when we want to look skinny and we would paint a room white if we want to make it look more spacious and this rule applies to makeup it applies to fashion it applies to interior design it's one rule fits all so we've got to use it when we're applying our makeup so I'm going to start by showing you the wrong way to apply dark color and then I'll show you how to apply it on the other eye then I'm going to show you the wrong way to apply a light color and I'll show you on the other eye how to do it correctly I'm using my eyeshadows here they're just in a little palette that I make myself so when I buy an eyeshadow I take it out of the container and I put it in here and these are the ones that I use every day so it's really easy everything's here in one place the part of our eye that we want to make skinny and recede is this part here it's the hood it's the part that's loose skin and as we're getting older this skin becomes looser and falls down a little bit so it makes our eyes look quite heavy and droopy so we're going to recede this with a dark color and the part we want to make look bigger is this part here because as far as eyes go that's our most important real estate because if this part of our eye can appear bigger we look more youthful okay so I'm going to show you the wrong way first and I'm going to apply a dark color to the part that we want to make bigger but actually we're going to make it smaller and I'm not going to use a primer it feels so wrong putting this on without a primer it doesn't glide very nicely okay so I'm going to do that and another thing I'm going to do with my dark color is I'm going to follow nature and sort of go down where my natural eye goes so I'm just following the natural folds in my eye now the right way to apply dark to a mature eye is 
where we want to recede it. So we would put it up here. Now let me show you what I'm going to do there. I would normally do this part after I've done my eyelid, but I'm just showing you so you can get an idea of right and mistake. Now that needs to be blended, but you can get the idea. So this has made this part of my eye look smaller. And what I wanted really is for this part, my hood to look smaller. Now I'm going to show you how to use light colors in the wrong way. So I'm going to apply a light shadow onto the hood which is what we really want to recede, but this light color is going to bring it forward, just like painting a white room. It's going to make it look bigger. Okay, so can you see that? Another thing it's done is it's made all these lines way more noticeable because it's bringing attention. This is where I've got wrinkles here at this part of my eye. By adding the light to them, it's making those wrinkles appear a lot bigger than they are. Actually, I think they're already big, but <laughs> I'm making them look bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to apply light the correct way. So we take the same eyeshadow. I'll leave all these colors, the ones that I use in the description below to show you, but we're going to add a light color to our eyelid now. Now I've got to blend out, but just to show you what that looks like, what I've done is I've made this part here, the important part, bigger. And you can tell the difference. I'm just going to go ahead and blend those colors together now. So make sure that you always blend your dark colors very, very well, because you don't want harsh lines and harsh colors. So you just add a little bit more and you blend back and forth, back and forth until you've got the consistency and the color that you love. While we're talking about light colors, I'm going to show you another two things that I do to add light to my eyes. So I take a nude eyeliner pencil and I line the bottom waterline of my eye. So I'll do that on the right side and I won't do it on the mistake side. So you just gently put that in the waterline and this NARS one, it doesn't wear off all day. Again, you can see that's opened my eye. Everything on this side is opening and everything on this side is drawing down, making look heavy and making look older. And I'm going to add a little bit of light up here to just pop that out a little bit and a little bit of light here. So I'm bringing this forward and I'm bringing that part forward and just tap that in. And where you've added a little bit of light here, you can just go over that with a tiny bit of eyeshadow. The third really big mistake we make when we're applying makeup to mature eyes is when we follow nature with our eyeliner. So that's the one thing that makes us look a lot older because naturally our eye comes down here and if you follow this line with an eyeliner again you're bringing it down it's just so heavy so to fix that problem we slightly give it a kick up at the end of our eye and this will lift so i'll show you how to do it the wrong way and then i'll show you how to do it the right way Ah, I just feel like I want to clean all that up, but I want to show you what it does. I've done two things wrong here. I'm going to show you. The first thing I did wrong is that I made the line here very thick. And because this is our most valuable real estate, this area here, if we darken it again with a thick line just here, we're going to reduce it. So that is the first mistake. The second mistake is see how I've gone down here? and it's just drawn it down and that looks terrible. So the basic rule of thumb for eye makeup is not to follow nature. We've got to create a lift and I'm going to show you on this eye how to create that lift.
So what I've done here is on the last eyelash I've kicked it up like this and then you come down into a line and form a triangle and that leaves the little bit of the end free of eyeliner so you haven't used up all of that space as opposed to this side we've drawn a line all the way down another thing to note is if you've got a very small amount of skin here showing the finer the line you use with your eyeliner the better i have more area to work with and i can use a thicker line and that's what i like but if you don't have much here go very fine and do the kick and you'll love the look and if we're going to follow nature with our line underneath that will actually bring attention to drawing our eye down unless you've got a really straight line underneath your eye already we have to create that so let me show you the line underneath So this is following my natural line, but what I want to do is create a lift. So I'm going to do a very gentle and soft line, but I'm not going to follow down here. I'm going to keep this part where it droops straight. Okay, so that's really subtle. It's not thick and then once I've done that line, I'm going to take a little bit of eyeshadow, um, a more neutral color, and I'm just going to go over that to blend it out and to soften it up. Okay, the eyeshadow is really great at softening up a dark, heavy line. And the softness is much better on mature eyes. One more thing that lots of people still do is to add a light color here on the brow bone. And I'll just show you what happens when we do that. Because we're bringing more attention to the wrinkles and the droop. So I've just gone up a little bit higher just to show you that. Okay, the fourth big mistake we make is to follow nature again and go with our natural eyebrow. As we're getting older, many of us lose our eyebrows or we've overplucked them and they didn't grow back. And a good shaped eyebrow really helps create the perfect look for our face. So I'm going to show you how to measure out your eyebrows and what will suit your face the best. So you grab an eyebrow pencil. I use the Benefit Precision Brow number two. And you take your eyebrow pencil and you put it between your nose and your corner of your eye. And then you leave a mark like this. So that dot there is where your eyebrow starts. And then on the other side, you take it from the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye and you go up like this. And that dot there is where your eyebrows should finish. So that's the symmetry of your face and they're the perfect measurements. So you can see I've got a good distance between here and here with no eyebrows and when I show you on the other side of my face it makes a big difference when there's something there because it puts everything more in proportion okay I'm going to do this side so I'll do this that's the dot there and on this side With the eyebrows, it's really important to only feather strokes on this part of your eyebrow. And you can line the rest here and fill it in. But if you're going to color this in and make it really heavy, it looks too much and it makes us look too old. So I'm going to show you how to do it properly. So basically you're just adding some strokes and then when you come underneath you can fill in the gap.
You can also create a little bit of a lift here if you like. It does bring your eye up. So on the top you just do a little bit extra and then bring it down. Okay, and on the other end of the eye pencil you'll have a brush and you brush your eyebrows upwards. And that's it. And I love to use an eyebrow setting gel on top of that. This is also a benefit. I'll leave the links below. But it's just like hairspray and it keeps your eyebrows in place. And it kind of accentuates the hairs that you do have and makes it all look a bit fuller. So you can see the difference there. These eyebrows have really helped shape my face. And this side looks like it just needs something. And that's what it is. It needs an eyebrow. And the fifth biggest mistake we make with our mature eye makeup is not to curl our lashes. Now a lot of people say it's not worth the trouble, but I'm going to show you what it does for my eyelashes. And again, we're creating a lift. So everything about this side is lifted and everything about this side is droopy. So let me show you the difference. So an eyelash curler, if you haven't used one of these before, it is definitely worthwhile getting. It takes a little bit of practice if you're brand new to it. And if you've got straight eyelashes, like you're gonna notice such a difference. This one's a Shu Umara and I've had it for years and years and years and it still works perfectly. I like to heat it gently with a blow dryer because the heat will set your eyelashes and keep them curled up. So you can try that at home, but don't let the rubber get too hot because it can burn your eyelids. So be safe with that. So here's what you do. You clamp your eyelashes like this. Clamp them and then you gently turn it towards your inner eye and hold for 10 seconds or you can pulse it lightly. I'm going to do the mistake side first and we're going to not curl them and we're going to apply the mascara in the wrong way. So this is a Thrive mascara and this is beautiful. I'll leave the link below. And to do it the wrong way to get the least benefit for our mature eyes is to apply from the top and to apply your pressure downwards. So we're doing it the wrong way. Okay, that's that eye. Now I'm going to go to the curled eye and I'm going to go from underneath up and I'm going to zigzag it a little bit towards close to the eye and bring the mascara upwards. And then gently on the top of my eyelash, I'm just going to do it gently and kick it up and then go back underneath and set that again. Okay, that's one coat of mascara. So let that dry a little bit and you can add a second coat on top of that if you like, which is what I always do. So I'm going to go in on this eye again And if you're just rushing and not doing your mascara with purpose, it does tend just to look straight and then they just don't look nice. Okay, that's my second coat to the mistake eye. And now I'll do my second coat to the good eye. Okay, so there's the results. I have a mistake one mistake after the other five in fact and this side I've done it with a little bit more finesse and I think I've got a much better result let me know if you've got some great eye makeup tips I'd love to hear them please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with any of your girlfriends who have mature eyes thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week